Hi, welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Marissa Turner and today we're on location at Louisiana Wildlife Federation here in Baton Rouge with the new director, Rebecca Trish, to tell you about some of the really important things that Louisiana Wildlife Federation has coming up. And the first one that the public can get involved with is the convention, right? Yeah, our annual convention in 2013 is going to be in Baton Rouge, so I wanted to make sure that people locally, uh, Ascension Parish and Baton Rouge, knew that uh, February 22nd, 23rd, and 24th will be at Embassy Suites okay. here in Baton Rouge. Um, there are plenty of events. We take care of our business um, on Saturday, and the public's welcome to, to attend any of our events, but on Saturday, the main purpose of convention is to hear resolutions, policy, issues of concern, our um, leaders, board members, and our affiliate organization leaders come together, debate those, and decide what the focus going forward for um, LWF will be. Okay. Now, it's just this is just for Louisiana Wildlife Federation, or is National Wildlife Federation going to be part of that too? We this is for Louisiana Wildlife Federation. Um, as an affiliate member of National Wildlife Federation, we attend their annual meeting, which will be in March, and it runs similarly, okay. in which there are um, issues that are of importance to different regions, and we come together as affiliates and talk about uh, and debate you know the merits, make changes, and and propose what what solutions and actions should be taken. Now tell us about the fun stuff because the convention isn't all just what policy is this and all that kind of stuff. There's fun stuff too. Right. So in addition to coming together with these experts and other organizational leaders from around the state, um, on Friday night we're having a dinner and dance and so we're going to have a local band and and um, I'm not ready to announce that but in the okay. next couple of all days right. um, someone probably from Ascension Okay. because uh, we have a lot of great bands oh, yes. in, in that area. Um, Saturday night we have our um, Governor's State Conservation Awards Banquet where we recognize the recipients of the um, Conservation Awards from 2012. So right now we're in the process of taking nominations and so I wanted your listeners, your viewers to know that um, we're accepting nominations of individuals, volunteers, professionals, organizations, um, businesses, elected officials, anyone who's done significant conservation, preservation, environmental protection work mm -hmm. in 2012. Okay. And so uh, this is our 49th year to um, to uh, give out those awards and accept nominations. And the program has recognized some phenomenal people. That is one of the things that we do that most excites me because you hear about this work that people are doing with such passion and commitment. Yeah, and they're not doing it for fame and publicity, but it's time to recognize some people who have worked, worked really hard. Now, how right. does somebody put in a nomination? Well, they can go to our website. Okay. It's www.lawildlifefed.org, and you'll find all the details there, and you'll see um, a, download, a downloadable uh, version of our brochure that talks about the rules and regulations for the program. It's not that difficult. It just you have to, you know, make a statement, a case of support for why this person is what worthy things they've done, why they should be recognized for that. Um, and submit that and the deadline is January twenty first. 